The following Vizio TV models that we have listed on the screen have a common problem of no backlights in the TV. Typically when this symptom happens, it is most likely a problem with the LED strips. But in these models that we have listed, we have discovered that if the TV has no backlights, it is most likely a problem with a component on the mainboard. As you can see, our Vizio TV is showing the symptom of no picture on the screen because we have no backlights. Once we power on the TV, you can see in the lower left hand corner that the light blinks and turns on and then slowly fades away. It is recommended to replace an EEPROM on the main board as your first troubleshooting step if you have the ability to solder. We have found that replacing this EEPROM has had a high success rate in fixing the symptom of no backlights. In order to be sure you are replacing the correct EEPROM on the main board, be sure to check the listing for the correct board location number of the EEPROM that you are replacing. If you are unable to solder, it is recommended to purchase a replacement main board that matches your main board part number to fix the problem. We will now show how to remove the EEPROM and replace it with a new one. We have unplugged the TV, removed the back cover, and removed the main board from the chassis. Locate the component on the board. When removing the original EEPROM from the board, it may take a little while, especially if the EEPROM that you are removing has a heatsink next to it, like the one shown in the video. Using some solder wick, clean up the remaining solder on the pads. Use some isopropyl alcohol and a brush to clean up the pads. Align the replacement EEPROM and be sure the small circle on the EEPROM, pin 1, is located near the one on the board. Hold the EEPROM to the board with the tweezers and apply some flux to one side of it. Then put some solder on the tip of your iron and then run the iron over the legs on the EEPROM to secure it to the board. Repeat these steps on the other side of the EEPROM. Install the main board back into the TV. We have done so and now you can see that we are getting a picture on the screen.